So there's only the P11 kit as a dependency requirement. We've done that. There's some optional runtime dependencies. Um, and obviously when we come to build them, they'll be installed and they'll just work. Um, there's nothing else. We don't need to rebuild make CA beans. It's a runtime dependency. So let's go to this and go to make CA. And we can finally build a package that we started with. So let's download it. Where did I save that? I did, didn't I? Yeah, let's override it anyway. Right, so to make CA script, we'll download and process certificates including this cert data text file for user trust anchors for the P11 kit trust module. Additionally, it will generate system certificate stores used by BLFS applications if the recommended and optional applications are present on the system. Any local certificate stored in that location will be reported to both the trust anchors and the generated trust certificate stores overriding Mozilla's trust. Additionally, any modified trust values we copied from the trust anchors to the ETC SSL local price for any updates. Preserving custom trust values are different from Mozilla when using the trust utility from the P11 kit to operate on the trust store. So to, to install various trust stores, first install the make CA script into the correct location. So as the root user, we need to do these commands here. So become the root and paste in that command. Uh, okay, of course we need to extract as the normal user make CA. Now we can become the root and paste those commands in. Okay, so why is that not working? Cannot find the make ca.8. Yeah, let's have a look, see if there's any mention about this one. Cairo, Cadian Life, see Monkey Plasma, Rust C. Might be tables, no, there isn't. So I wonder why that's failing. Let's run that again. I don't know why this is not working. It's obviously something. Funny going on here. I cannot stat. So what's it doing? Okay, so. Um what I think I might do here is just look at the make file to see if there's any hints. In fact, what I can do first is do make help. No, it doesn't give anything, so let's look at the make file. And okay, so there's a make man. And this seems to be the file that's missing, this make.ca.8. Sorry, mate hyphen ca dot eight manual page that's missing. Um, if I run the make install again, 
um, you can see that it says it can't can't stats make CA8 and it's trying to install that uh, file into the manual pages <clears throat> so I'm assuming that's why it why it's failing so what I'm going to do is to come out of root um, let me just get the web up again doesn't actually mention anything about this here does it let me just read this again no I didn't mention it there just says certain things required the downloading process that was included in the set data file Yeah, it just says to install the script in the correct location so I'm not sure if there may be a this may be a mistake either with the make or well, no I don't know make CA is the correct version that the manual refers to um, I don't know if it's a mistake with the BLFS book or I don't know something something's Gone. I can't think that it's anything we've done because if we look at the files that have been installed, that makes CA dot uh, makes CA man eight. It doesn't exist, and that's why it's failing. Um, let's see if it's not under that system D directory. No, it's not there either. So I'm going to take a punt at running make man to make that man page. And that seems to have done something. Yeah, you can see here it's made. There is today's date and time. It's made that man page. So I'm now going to go back to become the root. Oh, what am I doing? SU. Root. Um, and now I'm going to try this make install command. And see if it now works yes it does so I have a feeling that either the, the archive although it's the same version has been altered and that man page doesn't exist or there's um, that make man in uh, step that I did as extra to create the man page is missing from the BLFS instructions Either way, we seem to have fixed it, so um, that's the main thing. So what I should do now is go back and copy the rest of the command, which is this install command. And if I do the right mouse again. Paste that in. Okay, that's worked. So we've done this bit now, so we can carry on. Hopefully, we won't get any more problems. So, as the root user, after installing PY1 kit, download the certificate, source, and prepare this for system use with the following command. And it says if you're running the script for a second time in the same version of cert data.txt, for instance, you've got to add the R switch to the command line. So it looks like we just need to run this command here. So I'll just type this in. User, hopefully it's copied this file in. Okay, I think it has because that's what it's doing there on that line. Make CA minus G. Okay, that looks like it's working, that's good. Yep, that looks like that's fine. And it says you should periodically update the store with the above command, either manually or via a cron job. If you've installed fcron and complete the section on periodic jobs, execute the following commands of the root user to create a weekly cron job. Now, um, this won't work at the moment because I bet there's no cron.weekly directory in etc. Um, no, there isn't. 
So I could create that directory, but I don't know if it's got to have special permissions or anything else about it. So I'm not going to do that. But again, I'm going to make a note to tell myself that when I come to cron, that um, I come back to make CA and install it because that that would be useful to have. So after installing cron go back to make ca and install the cron script for updates that's definitely something useful to to have so configuring make dot ca or make hyphen ca that's some information there most most users no additional information is necessary some more information there and it says how to add additional ca certificates so local directories available to add additional ca certificates to the system do that So we could try this. Um, it says if using CA search routes, if you want to trust both or for all three roles, such as the following commands, we'll create the open SSL trust ticket. So let's try that. I imagine we've probably got to download something actually, but we can have a go at this. Oh yeah, it does this what the W gets for. So let's fetch this. I might have to get rid of that window. Paste that in. Go to the next page and get the rest of it. Okay, that seems to be working okay. And occasionally maybe in since we don't agree with Mozilla's inclusion of a particular certificate authority. If you'd like to overwrite the default trust of a particular CA seem to create a copy of the existing certificate in ETC SSL local with different trust arguments. For example, if you'd like to distrust the make believe CA root file, run the com following commands. So I won't do that, I'll just leave the um, defaults as they are. So that is make CA complete. Um, so next time we'll carry on with Cracklib. Um, I think that's more than enough for this session. So thank you very much for watching. I um, hope it's been useful, especially seeing what to do when errors occur, whether to decide to ignore them or carry on and so on. If you've enjoyed the video, please thumb it up. And if you want to find out when I release the next video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Goodbye.